I'm assuming it's honey. I don't know how we use it. I guess we drink it. Let's go. These massive, like, drop boxes. Just full of enemy reinforcements that they just drop in on us at a moment's notice. Oof, horrendous. Anyway, no time for tears. Let's keep going. Well, I don't think there's anything up here. Nope. So we're about halfway through now. And this ragtag piece of shit is kind of holding together. But what I find curious about this, and this isn't unique to this game, this, you can apply this to any video game. Like, the human army is being absolutely decimated, right? But then just two guys in a jeep with a machine gun start clearing out massive quantities of enemies. <laughs> it kind of makes you think, doesn't it? But, like I say, you can apply that to, like, every single video game ever made. Ooh, some nice health and ammo up here. Interesting. I swear I'd be so much better on the gun than he would. Look at the bloody accuracy on it, honestly. <sighs> anyway, let's keep going. Were there vehicles in, like, Resistance 2 and 3? I honestly, I can't remember. Looking forward to finding out, though. I mean, admittedly, like, the vehicle sections in Gears of War were pretty bad as well. Well, they weren't bad, but they, they weren't great. I think they did get better. Like, controlling those, um... I can't think of what the big guys were called now. Brumax or whatever they were. Yeah, that wasn't exactly excellent, was it? And that rig in the first game. Oof. Oh, God. Which is one thing, actually, playing through uh, Frontline's Fuel of War. It's actually impressive. How well the vehicles held up in that game. It really does feel like you're playing a battlefield game. The vehicles are really fun to control. Uh oh. You're done. Ugh. Now at least his machine gun doesn't overheat. I'll give him props for that. Alright, let's just dump you there, dude. You can have fun. Kill as many as you can. Look at this. <laughs> The accuracy on it. It's just <laughs> it's so silly. It's so deliciously silly. I think that killed a few of them. Stand to kill some more though. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, Cartwright will try and fire through walls as well, enemies behind. Um which is questionable. But you know, it's the thought that counts, right? He's trying his best, damn it. Evening, gentlemen. God, I love this weapon. It does kind of look like something out of Quake, if I'm being honest, but that's okay. You bastard. Come to Papa. There we go. Now, do headshots kill those guys in one hit? I don't know. I guess they do? Alright, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Always moving forwards. Who is shooting me? Where did you come from? Honestly, dude. I'm calling serious levels of all crowd on that. Oh, we got air fuel grenades. Oh my god. Why was I not informed? 
We've got so many tools to play with. Oh, yes. <laughs> Those grenades, man. I mean, we had incendiary grenades in Halo 3, but they weren't nothing like that. These are probably my favorite incendiary grenades in any game ever. They're so good. I can't remember if they're in the other games. Okay. Ah, bugger. Remember what I said about don't forget to push the button? You gotta beat the boop. Looks like this video is going to be a two-parter as well. Boop. Okay. Let's jump in and go for a ride. How you doing, Cartwright? Hey, you all good, bud? Yeah. Right. Let's go. Onwards to victory. God, imagine if they made this just like a little bit more open, where you could go and explore. We've covered out here. Let's get past that fence. That would be so cool. The Chimera tend to establish themselves near large population centers. Their presence in a remote region like Somerset was highly unusual. The gorge was filled with factories that built stalkers and dropships, but we had seen those before. Deeper into the gorge, the Chimera were hiding something far more alarming. Well, that ain't good. <sighs> what could they possibly be hiding? It's more terrifying than anything we've discovered about them so far. Doesn't leave much, does it? We'll find the Chimeran base faster if we split up. Take the other path. Give a shout if you find anything out of the ordinary. Or should I say when you find anything? Does that seem wise, splitting up? Okay. Also, kind of looks like we should be able to squeeze between those bars, to be fair. Yeah, you, yeah you'd be able to squeeze bef between those pretty comfortably, I'd say. All right. Bullseye, your turn to shine. Oop. Oh, come on, you chicken nugget. Let's see your brain. Really? Ooh. Another chicken nugget here. His skull's gone. Any more for any more? That's a silly question. Of course there's more. There's always more. Come on, douche. Ooh, beautiful. He gave me a little wink as well. Bless him. Ah, menials. Yeah, there's loads of menials here. But that's fine. We've got plenty of bullets. For now. Excellent. Right, couple on the top. Let's have a little look at you, eh? You smiling for the camera? Yeah. Bless him. Oh, he wants another one. His mum always said he was greedy. Wait a minute. That was bullshit. You clock that? Hit boxes. Hello? Okay. I know there's another one. At least I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Alright, whatever. Oh, told you. As soon as I shine my ass cheeks to him, comes out the woodwork. It says a lot more about him than it says about me. Ah, oh, hitbox. I knew that was a gamble, but... I'm gonna try it anyway. There's still birds. You can hear it in the ambience. They haven't 
quite extracted all the bio life from this area yet. Now, is there any more bullets back here? There is. How many? How many have we got? Three. Yeah. I suppose we get one whole magazine. That'll have to do for now. There's some kind of manufacturing plant. Oof. Look at the size of it. Oh, hello. Where the hell were they hiding? I mean, honestly. Well, whatever. Take these bastards out. Unfortunately, don't really want to expend that much ammo on these guys. <sighs> Maybe we should start using something that's a little bit more renewable. Oof. They've been harvesting up the dead. Putting them in crates. Interesting. Right, well, have a fuel air grenade. Ooh. Oh, that never gets old. Literally never gets old. Evening, Treacle. He's had enough. Whoop. Just the big fella left. Usually you go for the big one first, but you know. So anyway, around this corner, we should have another piece of uh, intel. Which is Field Guide 2, which just gives us a little bit more information on the Chimera units. Which, eh, this one, I don't know not quite as interesting or it might have been the tower notes actually well there's both anyway Chimera base with vehicle production facilities no access to roads tower appears to have been excavated Nottingham Tower Junction yeah I'll show where those two were anyway but they're the two other intel pieces oof we need some health dude ah ask and we'll receive right well there's another button Boop. and a new weapon yeah this is a sapper uh, it's eh, not great so the XR003 003 Strange, but yes. Sapper, mine launcher, is believed by British intelligence to be a product of secret US weapons program. Pressing R1 fires a stream of organic cluster mines. Each mine is encased in a living cell similar to those used by the Widowmaker. What's the, I don't know what the Widowmaker is. The mines stick to most surfaces, including each other. In combat, the Sapper can be used most effectively by setting uh, large clusters of mine traps for ambushing Chimera. Aiming at a mine and pressing R1 will detonate the targeted mine. All other mines within the blast radius will also explode. Holding L1 detonates all mines in the vicinity. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this weapon, that one as well, really. Does that look like a human made it? Especially that? It Mm, it looks more like a Chimera weapon. Yeah, that. I mean, you look at that. That looks like a gun. That doesn't... Well, I mean, that, that looks more human than the other weapons. That looks like a human gun. That looks like a human gun. That does not. Neither does that. The art style is kind of all over the place here. And since when were the humans using bio weapons I mean I'll show you how it basically looks oh forgot about these guys I don't know whether it's supposed to be like spraying acid or what but I don't know really not a fun weapon maybe I'm using it wrong it's certainly possible that I'm using it wrong but yeah, it's just another one of those oddities with this game so I mean like 
the weapons are just not that good. It seems more like something you'd find in Ratchet and Clank, which is fine. Same developer and all that jazz, but yeah, yeah, do not like. But we'll use it for a bit anyway. I mean, generally with this weapon, I used to pick it up and that was it. Oof. I guess you could use it for ambushes. Sort of, I suppose. But it doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage either. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Don't like it. It looks bad, feels bad, and doesn't really seem to do much. Well, these bastard mines are everywhere. I think out of all the weapons that I can think of so far, it's definitely the one that's most out of place. I mean, the hailstorm, uh, the hailstorm is out of place as well, but it's a cool weapon. I think in their quest to go out of their way to make unique weapons, they just went a little bit too mental with it. Just activate all these mines. Get them all used up. Oop. It's quite good of the Chimera as well, to be honest, to have these uh, obvious little launching pads for their mines. Not that you can see them in the grass, but when they're out here, it's kind of useful. It would be a bit dicky otherwise. Ooh, hello. What are you doing here? Hiding around the corner like that. It's not very nice. Luckily, we've got plenty of bullets. More minions. Ooh. I guess it makes sense. They would have all these minions working in the factories. <clears throat> Seems to be the best place for them. Well, I don't know. I might be missing some fun stuff, but I've been having fun stuff of my own, Cartwright. Had plenty of fun stuff of my own. Right, hopefully... We can take this bridge without too much bullshit. Uh, I'm okay at the minute, buddy. All good for a hand so far. Oof. Literally detached his brain stem from the rest of his body. Very satisfying. Hey, Cartwright. Ooh, hello. I see you've got friends. You didn't tell me you had friends. Come on. There we go. Oof. Cool. Let's go, buddy. Go clear these bastards out. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Come on. Oh, jeez. This is more of... Yeah, we're going to get up on that ridge. More of a suppression weapon, I suppose. Hedgehog grenades. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. <sighs> I do like my hedgehog grenades. Well, at times. They're not bad. They're certainly not bad. They're better than the human frags, which are no good. Well, that's bad. He's fine. He's just infected. Succumbing slowly. Oof. Well, I don't think they built that. Oof. 
Which leads me to wonder if they built any of this. Or has it just been left here? And if it is left here... Where did it come from? Hmm. Ah, we're going. Right, this place is a bit of a mess. God, what a... Honestly, what a shit weapon. You know, when you find a new weapon in... Um, in a first-person game, you should be looking forward to it. You should be excited. But to be handed... Oh, dear. A handful of shit so many times. It really is unfortunate. I would say this a similar sort of thing with the kill zone weapons as well. Like the kill zone weapons they're all good to a point. Um they're way better than the weapons in this game. But they're all the same if that makes sense. They're just yeah, just that's one thing that I I thought with well, there's a couple of standout weapons in them. Uh kill zone 3 and kill zone uh, whatever that one on the PlayStation 4 was but honestly they were they just all felt very similar which was disappointing oh talking to the PlayStation 4 and stuff um Sony announced recently from a headline I caught the other day saying that all their future releases are going to be coming out day 1 on PC um Yes, please. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you very much. I will definitely be taking advantage of that. Alright, let's take the hailstorm for a bit of a walk. Imagine... Oh dear, I forgot about that. Running through this game. With this weapon, with unlimited ammo. Would be fun. That was close. You know what, guys? Have that. As you can see, that... It just... That's a human weapon in this game. I mean... The Chimera would be screwed if the troops started running around with these. Surely. <clears throat> but what do I know, I guess? Take the old sapper out. I've fought as much. It's places full of gribbly bastards. Come on, gribbles. Where you at? There you are. I mean, is it like an acid weapon? Because it doesn't seem to be that explosive. Unless I'm missing something here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's just weird. I mean, it was somewhat effective against those, I guess. Right. Let's beep the boop. Oh, hi. Oh, that's cart right. Probably didn't appreciate that. Well, I did something, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come on. Come on. Fire the gun. Fire. Oh, wait. Was that our last bullet? It might have been. It might actually have been our last bullet. In which case, I am a stupid ass. Ah, okay. Think we managed to get through there, Cartwright. Right? Think we managed. Now, is there any more ammo around? Oh, we've got some more auger ammo, I suppose. Auger is... As a weapon, it doesn't feel too bad to use, actually. It's quite nice. It feels like a proper little sci-fi alien shooty-shooty pew-pew gun. 
It just doesn't really seem to do much. Ooh, look at this. The hell are these bastards building? Oof. Right, anyway, so the final piece of intel would be here. Um, whatever exactly that was. It's got to be that one, I guess. Yeah, it must have been that one. So. The tower appears to have been excavated. Yeah. So these towers were already here. Um, that's interesting. I guess... Yeah, again, really? Is that human technology? Are you sure? Okay, sure. Um, excavated. Interesting. So who built all this shit? And why is it buried under the ground? Oh, all right. There's another lynx waiting for us. Or is this our lynx that we left here? Can't remember. And that is that, my pedigree chums. So, when we come back, well, I guess we're going to go uh, to Bristol, which is interesting. Huh, that's not that far away from where I live currently. Bristol. Ah, interesting. Well, I mean, it's, you know, probably, probably a couple of hours drive away, but that's kind of cool to see all these locations that we uh, we remember or we know of anyway it's interesting to have a game ba uh, finally based in the UK because not everything has to happen in New York or any part of America really just saying you know we've seen it a million times before and I'm not saying everything happens to have to happen in, in the UK either there's loads of cool places that uh, these developers really need to start using but anyway thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time